In this last video of the CRO, we will see how using the help of these four controls here, namely the Y gain, time base, Y shift, and the X shift, how when you connect to a voltage source, and for example, this is the display that you get, and you can actually make it more presentable on the screen so that you can take the reading much more easily. For example, if you take a look here, if let's say this is connected to a microphone and this is the wave that you see on the screen right now, you can actually shift it down by adjusting the Y shift or you can shift it to the right or left by the X shift and you can actually control adjust the Y gain to actually increase the amplitude in this case of the wave and lastly the time base you can stretch the wave make it bigger you're not changing the source but you're changing the display on the screen for easy reading so i hope this will give you a brief intro of how you're going to do the setting to get the waveform that you want so as mentioned we will focus on the four controls here namely the y gain time base y shift and the x shift let's start with the y and x shift because they are the easiest in a way so if let's say the original waveform that you see on the screen is way too high up already and you want to shift it down you just need to adjust the y shift and then you can shift it down or likewise from below you can shift it up to the position that you want and for the x shift you can just shift it left and right by adjusting the x shift next let's go to the y gain once you connect the voltage source that you want to measure to the CRO okay, and if you want to amplify the vertical deflection, that's where you adjust your Y gain. Now let's assume we have a AC input of peak voltage 5 volt and let's take a look at the first scenario. If we were to set the Y gain to 1 volt per division, then because the input is 5 volt divided by 1 volt per division and this will be 5 division so you can see that the wave will have an amplitude of 5 division now the frequency uh, as we mentioned we just fit uh, it will remain constant throughout so for this case 4 division will be one complete wave and it will stay that way because we are going to change the y gain only now let's go to the next example over here you can see that what if i were to change it now to the Y gain for the same input, we're going to change to 2 volt per division. So once again, the original input is 5 volt divided by 2 volt per division. And now I will be getting 2.5 division. So for this wave, the same input, but now the wave will look like this, occupying 2.5 division as the amplitude. And the next one, what if I were to change it to 5 volt per division? So 5 volt divided by 5 volt per division. So basically, I will only have one division. So the amplitude is just occupying one division. So it works both ways. So that means to say if the wave appears this way and is the amplitude is a bit too small, very difficult to see, you can set the Y gain from 5 volt per division all the way to one volt per division then the wave will be very clear and it's easy to read next let's go to the time base as mentioned time base will adjust how quickly the electron beam will sweep horizontally across the screen let's assume we have a ac input voltage with a frequency of 100 hertz as mentioned with this information you are able to find the period of the ac voltage so which is 10 millisecond for the peak voltage in this case we're going to assume it stay constant so we are only focusing on the time base for the first setting you can see that our time base is set to one millisecond per division so with a period of 10 seconds from the source divided by one millisecond per division so you will get 10 divisions so this one complete wave will actually occupies 10 division okay so it doesn't matter where the position is slightly more to the left or slightly more to the right the most important thing is it takes 10 division to make one complete wave 
Next, let's take a look at another example. What if it's for the same source, but now I'm going to change it to two millisecond per division instead. So the same thing for the period original, the source is 10 millisecond. I'm going to divide by the time base setting of two millisecond per division. So now I will get five division. So for the same source, same wave, now one complete wave will take five division or you can see from here starting from here until here it occupies five division and the last example here for the same wave now the setting is set to five millisecond per division so with the original wave has a period of 10 millisecond divided by the setting five millisecond per division so on the display the wave will just take occupy two division to show one complete wave as you can see here one complete wave it only occupies two division so that's how the wave will look like if you change the time base from one milliseconds over here to two millisecond per division to five millisecond per division so it depends on how you want the waveform to look like then you set accordingly the time base so I hope after this video, you have a better understanding of how the CRO works and how do you control the waveform using these four controls.